What's up guys, it's Cube, and today we are unboxing the new Excalius X3 set, and I know I'm behind, like usual guys, I'm always behind on unboxing Beyblades these days, because everyone gets them so early now, so yeah, uh, I'm, I'm late to this one, but it still looks awesome, and I'm really excited. So this pack comes with an Excalius X3 recolor, and the big feature of this set is the new launcher. This is a sword launcher, Hasbro's first ever sword launcher. Takara Tomy has two different sword launchers already out. The first one was from a long time ago, and it came with um, Xeno Excalibur, and the newest one came with Seek Excalibur, and it's called the Digital Sword Launcher. The Digital Sword Launcher was really expensive. It's like $50 still, I think. I'm not sure if it's gone down in price. But it was really expensive so I did not buy it and also I heard that it almost had too much power to the point where Beyblades would like even a stamina type or a defense type would just fly out of the stadium because it was just it was too much spin for a Beyblade so I didn't end up getting that one but I do have the original sword launcher uh, this one I heard is really good so I'm really excited about this one I heard it's in between the original sword launcher and the digital sword launcher which is like I think will be the perfect amount of power and the reason why I really wanted this set was because Hasbro doesn't have any good left spin launchers out right now because the dual threat launcher has really good right spin but the left spin is really bad and I can never get a good launch with it so I have to resort to using uh, either my Takara Tomy string launcher or my um, or my ripcord launcher which is not very powerful I mean it's not bad but it wears out really quickly so hopefully this one will be good uh, it looks like I've heard good things about it, so I'm, I'm hoping it'll be good. It looks pretty nice. I like how it looks. Um, it's not, I think it could be a little bigger, but I, at the same time, I saw the digital sword launcher in person, and it looks way too big, guys, because when you're in a stadium with another person launching, it's going to be, it's, it's really annoying to be playing against someone who's using a digital sword launcher because because it's just unnecessarily big like you don't need a launcher that's that big it's just it's not it's not practical at all the side of the box shows the launcher it says fastest launcher yet which if it is that's awesome because Hasbro doesn't have very any really nice launchers out of sides for the dual threat launcher okay so standard Excalis x3 parts here it's Excalis x3 one iron uh but this is a recolor it reminds me of this soda called mountain dew baja blast if you guys were wondering uh tell me comment below if you guys see the, the resemblance of the mountain dew baja blast colors in this beyblade it's kind of like a it's like a really light turquoise color and it's kind of interesting because it's like it's just like a really unique color uh so yeah the stats are probably the same as and as the original Excalius X3, so it's got 11 attack, which is a lot. Four burst, uh, zero defense, eight weight, and two agility, zero stamina. And this Beyblade does feature that, you know, that metal sword in the layer, which is really cool. Uh, and the gimmick, which is the metal sword, uh, it makes for really big impacts, and that's true. And the performance tip is also metal, so that adds a little weight too. It's not gonna add a ton of weight, but it does add a little bit. Um, and last we have the sword launcher which can spin left and right Beyblades which is awesome guys because Hasbro doesn't have any good left spin launchers. Let's open this up. This again is a box design guys. I love box designs. Hasbro do more box designs because boxes don't, don't require you to tear apart the whole box to take out the Beyblade. It's literally all I have to do is cut one piece of tape and I literally can just open the box with no problems and it doesn't take like five minutes or to open this so two pieces of tape here i think i cut both of them out and okay just an easy open and i can slide this out bam it's literally so easy to open that bam oh my Guys, this ripcord looks so nice. It's like not Hasbro's typical like skinny little ripcord that's like super flimsy. It's like a real ripcord. Like look at that. 
comparison right there. That's insane. That's going to be so much better. Okay, starting out with the Excalis X3 recolor. Honestly, this looks great. Hasbro's original Excalis X3 also looked awesome. They did a really good job with all the details and just everything looked great. So same goes with this one. This one is definitely a interesting color. I really like it. It has a nice like turquoisey, almost kind of, I would call it a minty green because it's definitely more green than blue. If you're talking for like a turquoise, it's more of a green turquoise. And it has almost like a salmon or kind of light, light orange color with it and it looks really good and then black and i really like the the black accents add a lot as you can tell there's they're outlining the whole sword and they're almost like black flames i just think it looks awesome and there's even some yellow so like there's just a lot a lot of colors in this and they all go together really really well the code and this is translucent guys hasbro usually doesn't do translucent beyblades here you, you go guys all the hasbro haters out there who say they never make translucent beyblades and then we got one which isn't really good, but you know, it, it fits well with Excalius. And then the new um, recolor on iron, and this looks pretty darn good, guys. It's very much, it very, very perfectly matches the layer. As you can tell, it's almost the exact color as that uh, turquoise color, so that's cool. So yeah, let's put this together. It's probably gonna have the same slopes as the original. I don't think there should be a difference with that. Yep, pretty tight, pretty good. Now, the sword launcher. Yes, guys, this looks great. Let's put the uh, sword launcher in for the right spin here. This is right spin, okay. This looks awesome. There is a little bend in the uh, rip cord, but it's not terrible, so it's, it's workable. And it has some nice detailing on the launcher here. They added in some details to try to make it look more like the digital sword launcher. It says Beyblade right there. And the bottom is mostly like, it's most, oh, there's a code here. The bottom is of the launcher is pretty nice, except there is a little bit of this weird hollowness going on in the end here. Uh, you can add on, add on parts to the side. <laughs> you, want a, you, want your, uh, you want a dual threat launcher on the side? There you go. This like sword part here, this is really good. This is a really good grip, like this is great. Perfect for like two fingers right there, yeah. Here we go with the test launch. I'm trying to figure out how I should hold this launcher. I think I got a good position for it. Here we go, test launch. Wow, that's good guys. It has a lot of resistance guys, which is really, really good for a nice, accurate and consistent launch. If you want a really good consistent launcher, something that's not gonna, you know, skip on you often, things like that, you want something that has really good resistance and that's exactly what this launcher has. So that's great. Let's try it in left spin because you know, you gotta make sure it works both ways. All right, we're gonna try it with Nightmare Longinus now. Oh my gosh, that's insane! That is awesome! All right, quick battle, here we go. Longinus versus Excalius. Um, Luinor is not having a lot of spin here, but it's all right. <laughs> it's still doing, yeah. Oh, uh, this launcher is awesome, guys. Um, I know a lot of you probably have the same problem I have with my Lunar, and it doesn't stick on launchers. It stuck perfectly to this. I'm talking perfect. It might just be my longness. I mean, my Lunar, but it works perfect, guys. This is legit my new favorite Hasbro launcher by far. It's got a really long rip cord. It's really powerful and consistent. I think, I hope it lasts. If it doesn't last, I'm gonna buy like more of these sets just for this. Like I'll have like five of these just for the launchers. Tell me what you guys think about this launcher. Definitely my favorite Hasbro launcher. I think this is gonna be like my new go-to launcher probably for like certain things. Although I probably won't use it much for battles because unfortunately during a battle, I'd have to put the ripcord back in every time, 
versus a string launcher, which I can just launch two Beyblades really fast. So I might not use it for battles very often, but like for tournaments, this would be my go-to for sure. So yeah, tell me what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video.